And it looks like the BJP is now being forced into some troubleshooting after Jaddi Shetar has openly expressed his unhappiness. Now Shetar has been summoned to Delhi by BJP chief JP Nadda. Jaddi Shetar, who's been denied a BJP ticket, he's a former chief minister, says he will be going to Delhi tomorrow and that his name should have been in the first list. He says, I did not make any attempt to reach out to them, but obviously... And let's bring Nabila in on this story. Obviously, Nabila, Jagdish Shetar's, you know, soundbite earlier, uh, you know, has obviously reached its destination. But first, let's listen in to what Jagdish Shetar has just said after the BJP list has come up. मोदले पट्टी नली तम इस तरह बंदी लग रहे हैं आज भरमाए का एक तो बंदी ला आ हिंदू में तो उन्होंने मत नाने यार कि मत तो ये लोग फोन बंद लेके गिर ला और ये राष्ट्रीय रिश्ते फोन मारी है भरमाए का चीज़ है वो क्या है ये ने वो हिंदू ले लो बिल्कुल नहीं तो इसको समझ तो रिजर्व टाइम Nabila, it looks like Jagdi Shetar, you know, is controlling what's going on. I mean, if he's been summoned to Delhi by the BJP president, no less, just a few hours after, you know, he had that meltdown on camera saying he's unhappy and no matter what happens, he will contest. Clearly, the BJP summoning him to Delhi means, uh, you know, they had not accounted for the possibility of someone as mild-mannered as Jagdi Shetar having this very public, uh, you know, moment. You know, uh, Shiv, uh, what Jagdish Shatter says will resonate within the BJP unit in the state. Undoubtedly, because he is known, as, first of all, a Lingayat leader. You're, you're talking about the entire Lingayat vote base, which usually supports the BJP. He is a B.S. Yadirapa strongman, basically an ally of B.S. Yadirapa in the state. Uh, so hurting Jagdish Shatter not only hurts the Lingayat community, but also hurts the strongman B.S. Yadirapa. So there's a lot, and, and one, should, one knows that Jagdish Shatter himself was a former chief minister of the state. He's been a deputy chief minister. He's held several positions, enjoyed many cabinet positions uh, in the state in the past. So for a man like Jagdish Shetar, who's had uh, a constant victory at least six times in Hubali constituency, what was the reason for the BJP High Command to ask him to step aside? This is his, uh, 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 in fact, he, he's the one who's questioning the BJP, asking him on what, asking them on what basis, what survey, what report or what kind of findings do you have that shows that I will not win from my assembly constituency of Hubali again? He's won by 21,000 votes just mm. the last assembly elections in uh, 2018, which is a sizable number. He's beat uh, Mahesh Nalwad of the Congress there in that constituency of Hubali. So the man who's won six times, who's been the chief minister integral in catapulting the BJP to power in Karnataka, the only southern state that the BJP is in power in, for Jagdish okay. Shetar, a man like him, to be sidelined is absolutely shocking. It is taking, it for, you know, as, as journalists, we were taken aback. I can only imagine Jagdish Shetar being shocked. He's, of course, now, as expected, been summoned by the BJP High Command, and there are talks that will be will deliberate whether or not he will be named in the list to follow. Uh, Polomi, uh, you know, Jagdish Shetar is extremely angry that he's not in the first list. Uh, you know, he's going to be flying to Delhi tomorrow to meet with Mr. Nadda, the BJP president. Uh, anything you're hearing about how the BJP plans to, you know, navigate or firefight this, uh, you know, first big ticket mess that's hit them? Role. That conversation is to happen. Uh, the BJP, of course, had, has made that first uh, gesture. Mr. Shetar himself says that I did not call them. They have called me. Yeah. Narendra Pradhan also has, who is the election in charge uh, for the Bharatiya Janata Party for the state of Karnataka, has also spoken to Mr. Jagdish Shetar today as well. After Mr. Shetar very publicly, of course, announced that he, uh, in fact, was being asked to step away from uh, the contest and he is not willing to do so at the moment. So it is a dilemma 
for the Bharatiya Janata Party. It remains to be seen again, uh, Yedirappa, uh, you know, a close aide of Yedirappa as well. And we do know, as far as Yedirappa is concerned, that he was not very happy with the way, of course, uh, the selection process happened, especially because he walked out of uh, the Central Election Committee meeting even before had, if it had officially concluded. He did not attend uh, the meeting which uh, some of the national leaders, uh, including Mr. Nada, had with some of the state leaders, including uh, Nalan Katil and yes. others. Mr. Yedirappa skipped that meeting. He had a one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Nada and he left for Bengaluru. So clearly, uh, there is uh, resentment and rebellion brewing within the BJP state unit and the BJP is going to have a tough time trying to quell it.